tube. I just uh, removed my impact with the uh, ball joint separated here. And as we come around the back here, you can uh, see that, get a good focus here, that it's flushed. And uh, it's just a matter of doing each and every one, one at a time. It's a slow process, but uh, seems to be working so far. So I'll pretty much put each and every single one in and then I'll take it from there. Okay, thank you, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, just another quick tip here for the uh, ball joint remover, which I'm using as a presser to press in these wheel studs. You always wanna make sure that you have this thread here nicely greased. Uh, and I've just learned to do that from damaging one that I uh, had before this one. So what I'll do, I'll place some grease in there and as I impact it, it actually helps. And it makes a big difference actually, you know, just greasing these so you don't damage them. And I could show you one that I have here. I ended up having to buy another one because as you can see here, the thread on this is completely damaged. And what you don't want to happen also, you don't want these two ends near your thread. You always wanna make sure that you have that centered because as you're impacting, it's pretty much squeezing everything in. And always make sure, I'd say you have a three quarters of an inch, maybe a nut or something that can support the, uh, the thread that's being driven into the hole here of the uh, wheel shaft. Because if you don't, this particular ball joint separator, as you impact in, these two areas here separate while these two are closing in together to push in that wheel stud. And what tends to happen is, as you're driving this in, the impact is so strong, this end of the screw here tends to wanna move left and right. So the more you can kind of keep these two together, you have a straight line that impacts and keep this thread straight so that it doesn't move. Because the more you separate this, the more room of allowance that it has for this thread to kind of shift left and right or even up so it angles and it damages the thread also. So always make sure, you know, this helps that you have something that will actually assist you in pushing in that thread to make sure that your thread on the ball joint remover stays straight. And I'm gonna do a demonstration here. I don't know, I'm uh, pretty much got the phone in one hand and I'm impacting in another. But you will see here as I'm impacting that it's being driven in. As you can see here, slowly but surely, it's about halfway in, but uh, I'm just gonna drive it in a little more and then I'll pretty much take it from there. Okay, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, just a quick overview here and uh, with the uh, ball joint remover, I successfully pressed all of my wheel studs in. And as you can see here, as I go around, they're nice and flush, so it did work. Uh, what I come to see, you know, it does damage them. So uh, if I were you and I were planning on doing this also, I would buy maybe two or three of them because the uh, threads, they do wear out due to the impact just pushing it in. So it's always good to have uh, extra tools around. Yeah, but this is it, everything pressed in. And I'll pretty much do the same to the other side here. And then I'll continue on to the break disc conversion. Thank you, YouTube.